In a clear sign of disapproval, an unprecedented number of super-rich Norwegians have recently left Norway. This mass exodus of the Norwegian elite is likely due to a series of recent wealth taxes imposed by the center-left government, almost doubling their tax rate to 1.1%. Norway saw more than 30 billionaires and multimillionaires leave the country in 2021 alone, with many flocking to Switzerland where taxes are much lower. Even the fourth richest Norwegian, Kjell Inga Roka, has decided to make the move. The government is expecting even more people to leave in 2022 as a result of the newest tax increases, leading them to stand to lose tens of millions in tax revenue. Roka is estimated to have a fortune of about £1.5 billion and has confessed to feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. In an open letter, Kjell Inga Moka expressed that he chose to move to Lugano, a canton located in Switzerland, not necessarily because of the lower tax rate, but because of how much he could benefit from the new central location in Europe. This decision alone is expected to cost the Norwegian government a whopping 175 million Norwegian kroner in lost tax revenue each year that he is in Lugano. Surprisingly, the wealth tax increase was relatively small, and it's shocking how many of Norway's wealthiest were quick to make the move to Switzerland. According to Professor Old Gems Onsted from the Norwegian Business School, it's said that the people who have left Norway have a combined fortune of at least 60 billion pounds. This is no surprise when taking into account the fact that the municipal tax for assets of over 1.7 million Norwegian kroner for individuals, and 3.4 million Norwegian kroner for couples. Those constituting as super-rich may find themselves facing a state wealth tax rate of 0.3% and 0.4%, respectively. It's clear that these large spenders have grown discontent with Norway's new wealth tax regulations, with billionaire Tord Ulen Kolstad, a retail estate and salmon farming investor, saying that the new wealth tax rate meant that he was left with no other option but to move to Lucerne in Switzerland. Kolstad expressed discontent at the fact that he now has to pay himself a dividend of 10 million Norwegian kroner to offset the increased dividend tax. Though the Norwegian government is sorely missing the millions in lost tax revenue, some authorities have refrained from bashing the Norwegian elite who left for Switzerland. State Secretary Arlen Grimsted from the Ministry of Finance shared an understanding of the incentive to move, expressing, if you have enjoyed success and become rich in Norway, we hope you will stay and continue taking part in the Norwegian society. We do encourage Norwegians to succeed in creating value and become rich. And we believe the Norwegian model with a strong public welfare system and high education levels are important factors in making that success possible. Ultimately, there's no telling how much the wealth of the Norwegians that have moved to Switzerland will benefit those who still reside in Norway. All the same, it's remarkable to see the power of a relatively small increase in taxes pushing a record-breaking number of Norway's affluent to abandon their homeland and potentially never look back.